Wednesday. It's the night. We're gonna get some paella. We're not just getting it. We're gonna make some. I need to make sure to get a really enough time coffee and food. That's the first meal. Sangria is gonna be involved in the paella experience. We're gonna have an awesome time. to La Rambla for the third time. I really didn't think that we were going to be going to La Rambla so often considering everyone's like, oh, you just need to go once and that's it. But I actually don't think it's that bad. Coming from Times Square, it's yeah. actually quite enjoyable. It's, it's, it's got clean. trees and it's wide and there's space. There's space to walk relatively. I mean, it's really not that bad. We have officially found La Boqueria on La Rambla. This is where we're going to go first.
three, four, five things that I will show you that particularly that things that for me are important, okay? This is one, the starting. Always olive oil in the center. And the salt is a very important part because this is a seafood paella, okay? And the seafood has its own salt. So you have to be very careful with the salt. I will put it only once and only now, okay? And I will put it in this way. All in the edge. And creepy arca are the first and the last thing I will use in the pie. I want to just to brown them. I, I put them in the head to the center because it's in the head where it's the most flavor of the of the shrimp or the cream. Get the temperature a bit low and the pepper. They don't have to be all the three colors. I just like the way they look in it. Ten points now if you don't smell. Miso? Super. What? What is this? Chili paste. Truffle? I, I guess truffle. This is right. <laughs> okay, now you can smell it. It will be easy now. Onion. Oh, no. yeah. uh, onion. Onion yes. marmalade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what I mean. Yep. <laughs> so this is sort of like a caramelized onion, but it's it takes longer than caramelized onion. That's like, it's called poached, poached onion, okay? But this is five hours cooking, okay? You can see now how it's getting brown. And that's what I was looking for, okay? Just until the tomato evaporates all this water. stirring it all the time. Here I don't want, I, I just want all the grains to be apart from each other. That's why I won't move it. In the process what you're doing is extracting flavors from all the ingredients that you're cooking. You have to focus on things that would add flavor to the liquid. Okay, usually you use two times to prepare any rice. Here I use three times because this is too white, it evaporates more. Okay. So now it's 20 minutes to be cooked. Okay. In the meantime we're going to finish the dessert. Trigger. To the left. Yeah. To the right. I think. But there's a plus on the left. 
Okay, then go left. You're gonna have to use my left. There you go. our uh, paella, paella making paella. experience in, on La Rambla with Ignacio oh, Elias. Yeah. It was freaking awesome. Highly, highly recommend. He's originally from Argentina, studied uh, astronomy, business management, uh, cooking, and now he does a few things here in Spain, in Barcelona, but he loves doing these classes with us, just so awesome, so delicious.